Well, amen. Amen. Thank you, choir. Good way to start the service off. Good to see you all. They've got a good crowd this morning. We got several people outside in their automobiles worshiping as well. And so we welcome all of you, especially if you're visiting with us. Uh, you're our special guest, and we're glad that you have come this morning uh, to be a part of our worship time together. Let me share with you a few things uh, coming up this week. And by the way, thank you to Busy Hands last week. They're the ones that uh, provided a, a gift for you. The church provided the gift, and there's one that got it all together for you, plus some other stuff for Father's Day, and, and I thank the Busy Hands uh, uh, for that. Young at Heart, we met last Thursday night. If you haven't come to that yet, if you're a candidate for Young at Heart, you come, and I promise you, you will come back. We had a, a wonderful time. Our men's ministry in the morning, we are gathering and start gathering about 8 o'clock, 8.15, and we're having a good crowds. It's just been a, a blessing for all of us men who are part of that. So if you're free in the morning, you men, we'd certainly love to have you. We'll even provide breakfast for you as well. The ladies will be meeting on Tuesday, uh, Wednesday. We have Bible study in here at 6.30. I'm doing a series right now about what it means to belong to the kingdom of God. Once you and I become Christians, then we are in the kingdom of God. And so how are we supposed to act? What are we supposed to do? This is what uh, the series I've been doing on Wednesday night. Our youth had a great trip Friday. Uh, they went up to Levi Jackson Park and spent most of the afternoon, and uh, uh, they had a wonderful time. We're thankful for that ministry as well. For those of you who would like to help pack the boxes for the food, we're sponsoring the food bank at the Knox Association building. Uh, start gathering there in the morning, about 8 or 8.30, I guess, and, uh, and uh, pack up the boxes of food to be given out on Wednesday is when the people come. So if you'd like to be a part of that ministry, we would uh, certainly uh, welcome you to come and just be at the associational building. They'll be there, those there to show you uh, what uh, they needed to do. I'm glad you're here today, aren't you? Just a beautiful day God has given us, and I'm glad you've come to uh, worship with us at Poplar Grove Baptist Church. So I'm going to have Chad come now. Uh, and lead us in congregational song. Good morning. Let's all stand this morning. Glory to his name this morning. Down at the cross where my Savior died. As we sing the first and the third stanza. Down at the cross where my Savior died. Down where for cleansing from sin I cried. There to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. There to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to his name. Oh, precious fire. That saves from sin. I am so glad I have been turned in. There, Jesus saves me and makes me clean. Glory to His name. Glory to His name. Glory to His name. There, to my heart was the blood of. Would you be free from your burdens of sin? Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood. For Jesus, your King, there's power in the blood, power in the blood. You do live daily His praises to sing. There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power. 
you believe that, sing that chorus again. There is power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Well, amen. You may be seated as we go to the Lord in prayer. Let me direct your prayer thoughts. There are certainly several people we need to remember. Continue to remember Ashley and Herman Adams. In your prayers, Glenn Baker. Jody Barton, who's back with us today already, had a stint put in this week. She's a brand new owner of a stint since last Sunday. And she's back here already. So we're glad that she's back and pray for nothing but good days ahead. Uh, Gary Black, we need to remember him. Pat Broughton, Amanda Brown. Uh, Kathy Chandler, remember Miss Kathy, if you would, when you pray. Ramona Davis. Uh, Tanner Davis, uh, Phyllis Duggar, uh, remember Miss Phyllis as well, uh, Lisa Estep, still nothing, uh, no one has seen her, I don't know, we just don't know what's happened, so just pray that maybe she's somewhere safe, that's, that's what we need to pray for, and uh, it's been three weeks, over three weeks now, so I don't know, it's just a sad thing. Pat and Johnny Fox, both of those, especially Pat when you pray. Uh, Amanda Gaddis, um, Irma Helton, doing good now. We rejoice with that. Uh, Steve Hines, uh, Jessica Hoskins, uh, Randall Jackson had surgery, and he's doing good from that. So we rejoice uh, with his healing. Uh, Jane Maseko uh, got a real good report when she went to the doctor the other day, and so that's, that's wonderful. Remember Kevin as well. Uh, Hosein McKinn and his brother Bill both uh, uh, remember in prayers. Uh, Mike Mills, uh, doing good. Sharon and Avery Perry, I spoke with Sharon Friday. Uh, Avery's not doing good at all, so pray for Avery when you pray. And Sharon is, is better, but not much better, so both of them certainly uh, need our prayers. Karen Prater, uh, Jean Pryor, uh, Sherry Sams, we're glad to have Sherry with us today. And remember that family as well. Uh, with the passing of Margie's brother in that funeral was this past week. So uh, remember that family. Tanya Sawyers will be going back to North Carolina in July. And we will pray for a good report uh, for her. Uh, Rose Smith, we need to continue to remember Rose Smith. Melvin Tate, also on our prayer list. Uh, Charles Webb and his daughter Deanne. Uh, Mark White, doing good now. Dickie and Janet Wilder. Uh, Dickie's doing great from his surgery. Janet had surgery this past week, and she's doing good. I, uh, and uh, they thank the church for the prayers uh, that have been lifted up for them. Uh, Norma Reeves' sister, uh, Marie Edwards, uh, doing good, by the way, and we're grateful uh, for that. Frank Schoolcraft, Anita Schoolcraft's father-in-law, we need to remember him in our prayers. Uh, Carol Medlin in rehab at the local hospital. Remember Miss Carol. Uh, Raleigh Engel also stands in need of prayers. Uh, Chandra Lawson uh, is now, Tammy Matt and his uh, daughter is now back home and, and doing good, and, and we're thankful, uh, thankful for that. As a church family, there are several families uh, besides Margie's that we need to remember in our prayers. I continue to remember Denise Abner's family with the passing of her sister, and a Tom Ball family. Some of you have known Tom Ball through the years. Uh, he and I hit it off when he first came to Corbin. We used to hunt together and do all that. And he's a brother of Big Sam Ball that played football for San Diego. And uh, Tom has passed away. And uh, so remember, uh, remember that family, if you would. Sharon, some of you uh, taught school, perhaps, with Sharon through the years. Uh, so also remember the Mize family when you pray. And then uh, Eve Miller, uh, of course, lost her dad in San Antonio and went back there for the funeral, got back home. And her grandmother passed away down in Florida. So she's been down there. And plus the kids have been dealing with uh, some sickness. I talked to, uh, uh, to uh, Andrew this week. And uh, hopefully they can get everything situated and get back into the groove. But they've had some sickness there uh, with their family. Also the Vermillion family. Some of you have known Kyle Vermillion through the years. Uh, uh, he has passed away. That's Dick Vermillion. used to be the sheriff of Whitley County. It's his son. So remember that family and also the Wyatt uh, family uh, as well. So we got a, a lot of families on our prayer list, a lot of people who certainly need prayer, and, and that's what we're to do. There's nothing greater you and I can do as a Christian than intercessory prayer. 
on behalf of someone else, bring those needs to the Lord. So uh, today in our crowd, we're certainly glad to have Brother Doug Frame with us today, longtime pastor and preacher. His two daughters, uh, Deborah and Karen, have come with him this morning. And uh, thank you for bringing your dad today. Uh, Miss Joan, this is Joan's uncle. And uh, so Joan had told me they was coming. I always look forward to Brother Fram uh, coming in to visit us. And so I've asked him if he would. I told him to bring a prayer. Tell Joan to tell him to bring a prayer with him uh, this morning. And so Brother Fram, would you lead us in this prayer uh, now, please? Let's all stand. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. Let's stand this morning. Lord, I lift your name on high. Let it be said of me, my 
source of strength, my source of hope is Christ the Lord. You may be seated this morning. and prosperity when the church's message has been nearly diluted into oblivion by those who sought to make it socially attractive, neatly organized, and financially profitable. But God has always had a people. Yes, it's been gold-plated, draped in purple, and encrusted with jewels. It has been misrepresented, ridiculed, mocked, and scorned. But God has always had a people. These followers of Jesus Christ have been, according to the whim of times, elevated as leaders and martyred as heritage. Yet through it all, there marches on that powerful army of the beast, God's chosen people, who cannot be bought, flattered, murdered, or steal. On into the ages they march, the church, God's church triumphant, alive and well. Keep trusting in Jesus. The church is alive. You're not alone out there, sir. 